That's honestly why I uh, design clothes. Like not to get too sappy, like I like clothes, but a lot of it, if you root it down, is I like clothes because like the confidence they give me. Welcome to the video, y'all. Summer Mike, we're fitted, we're kidding, man. Week two, we're tugging to la da. Big deadlifts all week. Today is a heavy squat day, tomorrow is a pause deadlift day which shall be heavy and then I'm hitting the road. So stay tuned to the video, be sure to like this thing, give this thing a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below how you guys are liking the series and if I can help answer any strength questions or fun along the way. But today we got a top paused triple squat and then a bunch of quad work. So we're gonna get a little juicy, I had some cheese its yesterday so I might get that, you know, fake cheese pump. Streams are starting though, if y'all trying to get weird with it, twitch.tv slash silent 2 ks I think we're gonna go Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. And I'm already assembling the Avengers of Fitness to come stream with me. So we're going to have some dope guests on the stream. They'll probably be streaming too. They may not, but they'll be gaming with us. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like gaming, if you like shit talking, if you like a community and just having fun, live streaming is by far my favorite platform. Trust me, I love y'all YouTube. Love it. You guys help me so much. And I like sharing, but live streaming is my jam. And it's what I want to do the rest of my life if I could choose one thing. So I'll see you guys there. We're going to try to build up that community. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got in fight with a rattlesnake and lion at the same time, and the pussy cat tried to scratch me. I said, nah, pussy. Looks like it got you though. <laughs> yeah, you should see him. Motherfucker hanging on my wall. Give me your best angry cat. No, no, you're not gonna make me do this and no, put it online. Yeah, you do it first. <gasps> Something like that. Like it gets in here, you know? My best cat is. What the fuck kind of lion are you fighting? The soreness is away. So that's not bad, right? Like three, four days, really bad soreness. Back's a little pumped. Kind of a lazy weekend. I need to move a little more on the weekends. So like Saturday I did good because I deadlifted, but then Sunday I need to go for like a walk or something, I think. Kind of prep my shit for this. Start getting back in the flow, like trying to be in a, optimizing everything you can. Like you can train and get somewhere, but training while you feel good, you know, is a much different process. Like how you sleep, how you eat. I ate like a burger. And like, yeah, the calories help for stuff like this, but I just don't feel good, you know, like a bacon burger, all that. So, trying to find that of like having fun mentally, eating more calories mentally, recovering, but still not being a lazy bum. Like, it's not optimal to just like train your tits off and then just lay on a couch and eat donuts all day. A little bit of walking, you know, a little bit, of, you know, some nutrition, maybe a vegetable here and there, motherfuckers might help. Coming in, in, yeah, flex. I just want to win, yeah. LABB, who we running with? I'm on 10 again. Yeah. State your name. Big Ben Dope on Flame. I just. Um, and I think part of the reason why it's difficult for you to hold on to your brace while you're in the position that you're in, uh, or hold, excuse me, to hold the pause while you're in the position that you're in is because of your bracing. So you, you have, a, have this tendency to kind of use a lot of body English when you breathe. So you're, you're going. And you're, you're almost kind of raising your chest. I'm over-exaggerating, but you're, you're really raising your chest. And as a result of that, your rib cage is kind of pointing away from the direction of your pelvis. Generally speaking, kind of crushing You don't know I got such a big pelvis, so it's still pointing that way. Cage a little bit more in line with the pelvis is going to make it easier for you to have your torso function as one unit, right? Which is what we want in the squat. We want the torso, we want with the torso to move through space as if it's one complete unit, despite the fact that our spine typically wants to wants to go in different directions. We don't want that. We want to ignore that. A lot of times people always talk about having your chest up, right? We don't want to do that. We we want to let our not necessarily let our chest fall, but we want our rib cage in line with our pelvis so that we can move through space easier. So what I want you to do, prior to anything else, before you after you've walked out, I want you to actually expel a little bit of air. So if you put your hands right here with me, if you go and expel air, you should feel your rib cage come down a little bit. That's kind of that feeling we want to chase, and then we want to actively contract our abs before breathing in. So breathe out, contract those abs. You feel like you know it's kind of hard to talk, and then and only then do we breathe in, breathe in, breathe in through either our nose or pursed lips. Okay. Can you just blow us a kiss. It was a kiss. Wishing you good luck on my next set. Rip cage goes Perch those lips, daddy. Contract the abs. Now notice there wasn't any body English there. My, my rib cage did not come up at all. I just breathed in, created a solid brace. Work on that. Thanks, coach. Yes, coach. Um, put the um, 
cues into motion. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just snapping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't Plus four? Yeah. We fucked up. Supposed to be five. Talking nerd science? That's, oh my god, he almost just jousted me. What is this, King Arthur's Court? I saw you running at me like this. <laughs> he tried to just hit me like a seafood skewer. Um, two things that come to mind. Three, maybe. One, when we're trying to um, build muscle or build strength, a lot, of, a lot of people have known it, something we've done for a very long time, but there's a couple of recent studies that have confirmed it. That frequency, training to the muscle group or a lift two to three times a week versus one times a week, I think volume antiquated, so volume's the same. Uh, the amount of muscle and strength you build is literally like double. Makes sense though, right? When, it, when it, all these old bro splits and people would annihilate their biceps but they're training them every seven days in the, in the sake of recovery um, is bullshit. Because we don't really want to recover. What we want to do is adapt. So we want to keep throwing stimulus and adapt to it, adapt to it, adapt to it, uh, causing ourselves to grow. Point number two, when considering programming, there's also studies, but it's been kind of an argument, but it, it, there's just no, there's no argument to be had that building muscle and having more muscle and building muscle over time is essential and so important to building strength. That doesn't mean like the, cause then people will be like, oh, well bodybuilders aren't jacked. Well, no, or bodybuilders aren't strong. But the number one is that in your physical form, if I could get more muscle, I'm gonna be stronger as me. And building more muscle over time, more strength is gonna be best. Number three, building muscle in a rep range. What's the best rep range? People ask that all the time, like, oh, you gotta do 10s to 15s, you don't. It's basically shown again that anywhere from like threes all the way up to I believe like 15s or 20s, as long as we're getting the intensity there, meaning how close to failure or how hard we're pushing it each set with the recovery, with the protein, is all gonna be the same. So the fact that powerlifting or doing triples or fours like today can't build muscle is just incorrect. If I'm a couple reps shy of failure and I'm pushing myself, we'll build muscle doing twos, threes, fours, fives. We don't have to do sets of 10 on deadlift to build more muscle. For the TikTokers out there that are all about the RDL for some reason, and your only argument that you have is that there's an eccentric load rather than just a concentric like a deadlift itself, well, how about we just deadlift slower? If you think deadlifts build no muscle and deadlifts the most useless risk to reward to build muscle or be a good athlete, I think you're full of shit. I think powerlifting is literally the second safest sport on the planet besides bodybuilding, if you want to call that a sport or activity, because bodybuilding you can choose different exercises, but there's more less injury in powerlifting than every other sport across the country. You're gonna to go to every seventh and eighth grade basketball court and say, risk to reward, you kids, you're gonna hurt your ankles. No, when you're getting better or doing physical activity, yes, there's risk to building, but you were talking about a lot of times people will antiquate that to or talk to versus a football player or a basketball player, not deadlifting. Their sport in themselves is way more likely to get an injury upon impact, upon random occurrence, or even just as, a, as an athlete itself. So you're gonna tell them not to scrimmage, you're gonna tell them not to run, you're gonna tell them not to do suicide uh, uh, drills. That's gonna cause way more injury, way, the likelihood of injury is way beyond a deadlift. So if we wanna build muscle, why don't we just slow down the eccentric of the deadlift, make it more like an RDL, where you can handle more load that way. I don't know, man. You guys can let my uh, work speak for itself. You know, you can build a d dumper doing some conventional killers. There's our uncle duties. We actually talked about it on the podcast too. Abby said I'd be a bad dad. Yeah. No, I just, okay, wow, we're spinning things. I said, I just can't see him as a dad. My little nephew, Taika, uh, some of you may know if you watch Barton Geo, go ahead and start making magic. Um, poor little homie Taika going through some health stuff. And so they're trying to figure out why he's maybe having some seizures. And he had um, a couple, and then now they didn't find what they needed. So they're doing a 24 hour one. 
And so a poor dude's got to have it. And it just broke my little heart. Gio posted saying that he feels weird or that he's extra. And so I want to let him know that he doesn't look weird and that I think he looks cool. And so I'm going to do a deadlift set with the same. I think he's got like prods going, you know, like little uh, metal sticker things. And when you're a kid, bro, even in high school, I remember like feeling dumb or looking dumb, you know, like you get self-conscious all the way up to like 17, 18, even adults deal with it, right? That's like, that's honestly why I uh, design clothes, like not to get too sappy, like I like clothes, but a lot of it, if you root it down, is I like clothes because like the confidence they give me and the outfits I wear, like it makes me feel cool. And like, there's nothing to it, right? It's fabric. My fabric's the same as that fabric, but in basketball growing up and all sports going out, whatever, like looking good and feeling good is such a different confidence builder. And so if I can design things that make you feel cool or feel good, that confidence will go into different areas of your life. And like, that was the root of all why I buy sneakers. It's not to like flex, like, oh, I got these hella expensive sneakers. It's because certain sneakers, certain fits make me feel cool. And sometimes we all need that, man. Despite, I've never called myself like a non-confident human. We were even talking about it. I used to be called cocky a lot, um, but I've always been very confident in who I am. But everyone needs to set routine. And we talk about routine and habits to, to feel good, to set yourself up for success. And I think the mentality you have going every day, if it's as dumb as something wearing a cool hat, makes you feel cool and do better, I think you do it.